right now and Shuri beautiful sunshine out there to start us off. Yeah we've got some uh, clear skies over Boston right now live look at the city in the backdrop here and we've got uh, basically crystal clear conditions so I need you to try and make the most of the weather today and tomorrow this is the best that you're going to have this week as we head into Friday we see a transition and we're banking on a Saturday soaker. Now Sunday although we dry out it is going to be chilly, chilly and blustery and it's going to feel a lot like fall for the second half of the weekend right now 66 degrees in the city of Boston dew points are in the 60s so I think you're going to feel that it's a little bit humid outside this morning temperature wise it's upper 70s it's not 80s today in Boston it's going to be a couple degrees cooler because of a shift in the winds in fact the whole coastline here Boston up to the North Shore and the seacoast we're counting on highs in the 70s but Reading and Newton hit 80 degrees I've got 83 in Nashua Stowe Natick and Foxborough and 82 today in Worcester we'll go with more 80s in Brockton and Bridgewater but if you're going to be down across the South Shore the Cape or the Islands dress for the 70s and plenty of sunshine now tonight it's basically a repeat forecast. We're going to have some pockets of fog. It's going to be in the 50s. It's going to be a little bit humid overnight tonight. And tomorrow, your last bright day. Although we're weeding out the 80s with widespread 70s, this is still warm for this time of the year. Changes move in on Friday, first in the form of clouds. And as we look ahead to 5 p.m. on Friday, we do have the chance for a few showers out there. I want to stress that what you're seeing right here on Futurecast, this is the wettest solution of all my tools. Many others favor dry weather for most of Friday with a couple spot showers across the interior in the afternoon. Better chance for rain will arrive Friday night into Saturday. Saturday morning. This is 8 a.m. Saturday and you're just going to see an all day rain chance continue. Now this is tropical storm Philippe again pushing in some deep tropical moisture and as that interacts with our front here we are expecting an area of heavy rain to develop. It's a little tough to determine exactly where the position of that heaviest rain is going to be right now but we are banking on some of our steadiest rain in the afternoon and nighttime and then by Sunday morning whole thing is going to slowly move out. That dries us out in southern New England, but northern New England will continue with some rain chances into the weekend. And as I mentioned, we are concerned for some locally heavy rain. It's just tough to know exactly where those heaviest showers will end up falling as of right now. So we've got rain in Boston, in Hyannis, in Worcester, in Concord, New Hampshire with mid-60s and showers all day on Saturday. Sunday, though, it's cooler. We're talking some spots like Worcester with a high of just 58 degrees. And although we get partial sun with the wind out there, it's going to feel chilly. Seven